Hello, car lovers, driving the, and I got to read it, Land Rover, Range Rover, Sport, P400, SV Dynamic, SE. Craziness, this title. All right, we're going to do a short over, overview of this vehicle, which may take less time than saying the name of this vehicle. Go. A quick explainer. Land Rover is the brand, Range Rover Sport is the model, and it comes in three trims. The Dynamic SC P400 is a mild gas hybrid which starts at approximately $116,000 Canadian. The Autobiography P550E gas plug-in hybrid starts at nearly $161,000. The SV Edition 1 P635 gas-powered goes for $259,000. I'll focus on our tester, the Dynamic SE P400, with quite a few options. A Meridian sound system and some of the most comfortable seats I have ever sat in and are fully adjustable. If you do not get comfortable in these seats, the problem is your back and you need a doctor. The engine is plentiful, an inline turbocharged six cylinder that makes 395 horsepower and has a sub six second zero to 60, plenty fast. According to Natural Resources Canada, there is no 2024 fuel rating for this vehicle as of March 17th, but for the 2023 model year, the Sport P400 delivered 13.1 liters in the city, 9.1 liters on the highway. There are a host of metallic colors to choose from, and I never saw a pink color from the Land Rover company that I did not like since I began testing cars 10 years ago. For the Psychopaths, there are 23 inch wheels available. That is one inch shy of two feet. On the inside, interior options abound. The wealthy love to customize, and why not? It makes the vehicle feel that much more personal. Option groups are called packs at Land Rover. There are quite a few to choose from, including the Stormer Handling Pack for enhanced off-road use. Overall, this is the biggest improvement since I last tested a Land Rover product. The interior is very elegant, and the materials quality is top-notch. The must-have option for me is the 1430-watt Meridian sound system with 29 speakers. If you're going to go big, you might as well go concert house with your Rover Sport. The quintessential British mid-size luxury SUV, premium exterior, and improved and quiet interior makes Sport one of the more unique, rare, and desirable luxury mid-size SUVs in the world. All right, we're back. So what to say about this vehicle? Well, I'm, I, I think I, I, I'm going to approach this a little bit differently than I do normally because every single person that I have ever met in my life has never driven a, a, a Range Rover. All right. So what is what is Range Rover? What is what does it mean? Where does it situate itself in the competition? And what does it do better or differently? Well, really, Range Rover or Land Rover is uh the european slash british slash high-end version of jeep all right so it does have that rugged outdoor capability but it also has a high luxury quotient this vehicle runs between 120 and 260 thousand dollars plus options so we are talking about upper middle class to rich people right people who who don't just travel business class they might travel first class or they might even have a private jet so very very high level all right how does it differentiate itself from the german rivals well there's this ruggedness that this high ruggedness feel but that's very refined there is a superior exterior styling the germans can't seem to make uh crossovers uh mid-size and large and full-size crossovers they're all ugly in my opinion uh where this is still very beautiful classy unique distinctly european it really says and i think a lot of people who, who shop these vehicles they kind of want to make drive a message it says i have money that's what, it says i have comfortable money that's what it says all right so mission accomplished on that level for the typical buyer on the inside now many improvements uh, i feel the, the, the materials quality is very high here we have here very good visibility. This is, after all, rugged. There's a functionality to it. And we see it in the visibility, very good. Nice color display, nice use of materials, nice textures, a little bit of a thin steering wheel, uh, uh, great sound system, uh, personal luxury touches like the Meridian sound system having a tweeter integrated in the, in the, the handle for passengers to get out, a ventilation, an adjustable ventilation right there. So really getting uh, good personal comfort for every passenger in this vehicle 
So very good on that level. Uh, plenty of room in the trunk, as I was saying. Beautiful digital dash. This is the, the contrast level is nuts. This is a super sunny day. You would not. You could put like a, a little sun right here, and and you'd still be able to see your your uh, your speed in, in this in this digital dash. It's 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 wonderful. High resolution, high contrast. Super beautiful, slightly tilted forward. I don't know if that's one of the reasons why it's doing so well in the sun. But anyways, this off angle, very classy. Here, this infotainment is incredible. Uh, it has like a nice concave shape, which is really nice. I mean, it's, 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 uh, I can't believe it. It's so, it's so good looking. It's very reactive. Ross says it takes a little bit of while getting used to, but I mean, just in terms of the aesthetic quality, I have a personal confession to make. Ever since I've owned a Tesla, uh, which has that big screen, it's a very nice screen. I was kind of scoffing at that idea a little bit when I bought it, but I got to say six, seven months in, I'm really enjoying a large digital snappy screen. It really uh, increases the, the quality of the interface with the vehicle and Range Rover nailed it. It's really good. So those are the good bits. On the inside though, there's a few problems. These horizontal piano black surfaces tough to stay shiny tough to stay clean as you clean them they tend to become scratched up every time you're going to go adjust the temperature you're going to see those scratches that will develop inevitably over time i'm not sure about that so it's not perfect all right so you have a meridian sound system that sounds very good great panoramic roof obviously but i mean it lets just so much natural light in this is really good stuff. Heads up display. All the luxury touch touches you expect at that price. The doors close by themselves. Um, very good. Very good. Very good. Um, a really cute door handle here. The way it opens, it's kind of like feels very positive. It has like that, like that two-step open, and it feels very positive when you open the door. So this is this is a, a high luxury vehicle. It differentiates itself from its German rivals for from being more unique, more special especially from the outside. Uh, they're catching up on the inside, but I don't think they're quite as buttoned down as the Germans, or they just don't quite. The Germans and interiors, they're just so good that they're hard to beat on that level. And, and, but there is a, 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 a bling factor that this vehicle brings, a refined bling factor, which I find stands it apart. And more and more as time goes on, because way back, like 10 years ago, from an appearance point of view, the Germans and these were closer. It was a closer match. Now I find Range Rover is way ahead. I mean, it's way more tasteful, way more noticeable, way better. All right, for from an exterior styling point of view, and that's a, that's a, it's, it counts that. And of course, don't be put off by the low profile tires. This vehicle is handling the Montreal Trail marvelously. It's it's a wonderfully calibrated suspension for this type of vehicle. I think Ross really liked it. And by the way, those remarks about Jeep being uh, uh, Range Rover being a luxury Jeep, that's a that's a remark Ross made a long time ago and it stayed in the back of my brain and I'm sharing it with you today. And that really I think that's the best description of Range Rover I've, I've, I've ever had I've ever heard. So those are my thoughts on this vehicle. Obviously you're gonna you're gonna lease it right. You don't buy these things like most of its competitors. Who wants to deal with these problems when they're off warranty? I don't. I certainly don't want to. And even if I were wealthier, I wouldn't want to. So uh, that's just the kind of buyer I am. And and those are my thoughts on the very good Range Rover P400 Sport. Blah 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 blah. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well then of course, of course, of course, you should subscribe. And that is it.